Hello friends, neighbors, and relatives. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the ETS surgery. That's the endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy and how any doctor performing this surgery should be removed, thrown into jail, fined, his license revoked, and should be sued to death. This is a surgery that's purely cosmetic and does more harm than any good that possibly can come from it. I had this surgery done first on my right side in March of 2000 and then on my left side in May of 2000. The, but before I get into that I'd like to encourage you to watch this video series that I, I saw last night on YouTube. Dan McDonald interviews Lou Corona about the four principles of life uh, and healing which is cellular communication, cellular environment, cellular uh, exercise and cellular nutrition and with these four principles you can gain a degree of health that you never imagined and uh, basically all these surgeries and cutting out things and clipping things and uh, and adding things prosthetics and whatnot they're all superficial they're plastic they're not necessary we are we are taking drugs and, and performing surgeries that have only been around for maybe 50 years uh, trying to get a quick fix whereas our creator has given us ways to heal ourselves that humans have been using for uh, who knows 40 million years and it's just that we've lost this knowledge in this age of electronic communication we've we have tons of communication but not much knowledge so I encourage you to check out this knowledge that Lou Corona has discovered for himself he looks like he is he's 30 years old he looks like he's 30 years old and he's actually 57 and the amount of energy he ex he expels is incredible and that's where I want to get to even though I have been scarred and cut up and have limitations opposed on upon me and uh, I know that I don't know if I can possibly inspire anybody maybe I can just encourage those who have been cut up and we're in our own little level I mean these Lou Crone and Dan McDonald are way up here uh, they didn't go for these surgeries these quick fixes whereas I did I thought that there was a, a faster way so back to the topic at hand the ETS surgery basically they cut you in three areas one under your armpit one in your back and one a little bit lower and they stick prods in with a, a little scope and they deflate your lung find the thoracic nerve which controls sweating and uh, dilation of the pupil and uh, your eyelid and so the doctor who performed the surgery I won't say his name uh, he had never performed the surgery before and I should have taken that as a warning sign but I was desperate to get rid of this hyperhidrosis so I went with it anyway uh, he went in and clipped the nerve which is basically put a not clip a clamp a titanium clamp on the nerve so that they could reverse the process I'm not sure if I'd be able to go in for a reversal 
it's been about 10 years and the amount of nerve damage in that time might be too great and personally I don't want to go in for another surgery I am a little bit afraid of going under again I don't it's not particularly enjoyable so and it costs a lot of money but I might get over these fears and I might have it done but there seems to be a lot of hurdles in the way so they go in clip it the side effect was that he didn't know what he was doing I guess and clipped the nerve too much he also pulled out a lymph node which was something that I never asked for and you know they doctors think that if things are swollen they're bad and they should be removed and people don't have the capacity to heal themselves well I've already healed other conditions other problems that have arisen just through nutrition and various practices and Lou Corona will get into that if you watch his video I mean it's the the amount of knowledge there is powerful it's really it could change your life so if you're thinking of getting the ETS surgery don't do it please don't do it this is this is a purely superficial it's a cosmetic thing you don't need if you're sweating too much it's your diet me I was drinking way too much coffee I was eating too much salt red meat cooked carbohydrates I thought I could exercise that out, meaning go out and, you know, mountain bike or run or swim and get that excess energy out because I was thinking maybe that that's what was causing the sweating, but it really wasn't. It was, it was my diet, bottom line. And I figured that out for myself the past six months. I don't sweat as much because I've changed my diet to a purely living raw food diet where I eat only raw fruits and vegetables and cultured nuts and seeds. I'm still working on the the cultured nuts and seeds. That's where you get a lot of your protein. I've lost a lot of weight and I hope to gain that back within the next six months. And there are other exercises that I'd like to apply in my life. That's about all I have to say about this surgery. I have six scars along my back. I've got a, a dilated pupil, Horner's syndrome. I forgive the doctor for what I asked to have done to me. I forgive myself for going into that process I hope that I can inspire you not to do this surgery not to go in for plastic surgery not to do any sort of surgery and to look and examine forgive yourself examine your diet and your practices and how you were raised and how you can heal yourself through prayer through asking how can you possibly do this by yourself through your creator so I believe I've said enough about that yeah I've said enough about that so have a nice day I'm certainly enjoying this sunrise out here go out get some exercise breathe deeply watch that Lou Corona video I'll post a link on it I love you all this is Mountain Bike Mike take care